in the name of Allah, the merciful, we will start with the first domain A, which is infection prevention and control administrative measure. Element A1 is leadership support. The total number of elements is four, an activity for auditing document, staff interview, observation, and the score will be zero, one, two, not applicable. A1.1 adequate resources are allocated to infection prevention and control department, example office, IT support, and is evaluated by observe and interview. By observe, number one, availability of separate IBC office with the provision of all required resources. And number two, the number of computer provided for the IBC department and match with the number of IBC practitioner working in the unit. By interview, number one, IBC team, if they request and need, are always considered and provided by the leadership personnel and the high official. And number two, the staff about the speed and reliability of the internet service and backup plan to ensure the continuity of the work if there is no availability of internet service system shutdown. And number three, randomly ask staff to access the national platform such as Hassan Plus website to check the speed and reliability of the provided internet service. And number four, ask staff about IT support and troubleshooting time. Example, IT department have a good response to them when needed. And number five, ask about access to patient and lab data if a hospital has electronic filling system. By interview, number one, IBC team, if they request and need, are always considered and provided by the leadership personnel and the high official. And number two, the staff about the speed and reliability of the internet service and backup plan to ensure the continuity of the work if there is no availability of internet service system shutdown. And number three, randomly ask staff to access the national platform such as Hassan Plus website to check the speed and reliability of the provided internet service. And number four, ask staff about IT support and troubleshooting time. Example, IT department have a good response to them when needed. And number five, ask about access to patient and lab data if the hospital has electronic filling system. A1.2, adequate infection prevention and control supply are provided to healthcare workers for successful implementation of IBC program, example, a PPE a disinfectant, and is evaluated by absorb and interview and document. Review the following documents. Number one, a plan for continuous supply of PPE. Number two, inventory checklist for monitoring consumption of all required supply consumable. Number three, electronic database, Excel separate sheet as a mechanism of monitoring consumption of IBC supply and to ensure adequacy. Number four, the document supply chain flowchart describing the mechanism of supply requests from the unit. Number five, review if emergency plan is incorporated to address the shortage in outbreak situation to ensure the continuous supply of PPE, disinfectant, and other IPC supply. And observe availability of IBC's resource and supply in all unit. For example, randomly open the hand drop dispenser to check for availability of hand sanitizer and if data is valid or expired. Number one, 
interview the IBC team supply in charge about the process of replacement, maintenance, and first time request of supply when and where needed. Number two, investigate the shortage when the person in charge when it is clearly observed. Number three, ask the staff about the mechanism, how the stock will be requested, what the alternative backup if not available in the main hospital store. A1.3, IBC team is given full authority to implement the IBC policy and procedure and is evaluated by document and interview. Review the following documents. Number one, a statement of authority approved by the hospital director or IBC committee. Number two, this statement of authority should be reviewed and authenticated by the administration of the institution at least every three years or sooner as per policy. Number three, all policies and procedure are established by IBC team. Number four, check for availability of authority statement or memo circulated by the top administration office to all units stating authorization of IBC team regarding IBC practice. Interview number one, IBC team member if they have been given the appropriate attention and respect by the head of the other department during daily round training and education activity. Number two, IBC team regarding the authority to make decision and to influence field implementation. Number three, if the IBC department have been well understood and directly act upon it is comment, remarks, recommendation, and commands. Number four, moreover, head of the department are continuously working on IBC improvement and corrective action if any breach of IBC practice have been communicated to them based on internal and external audit finding. Number five, ask if the healthcare worker simply obey any order coming from IBC personnel through any means, even if it is a verbal order in matter related to infection control. A1.4 Hospital leaders support IBC team and their supervision role when some functions are outsourced, example, laundry or dietary service, and is evaluated by document and interview. Review the following documents. Number one, contract of outside service. Number two, an inspection visit checklist tools. Number three, inspection visit report and action plan. Interview IBC team with regard to outsourced service hospital policy within its implementation. Monitoring of outsourced service by the hospital, example, process, frequency of visit. Inquire IBC team about needed leadership support if any major breaches has been observed. An outside surface in repeated visit with no corrective action. Thank you for listening.